Welcome back, everybody. And hey, Jennifer, nice to see you. Um, and nice to see everybody back. So I hope you had a good uh, breakout session, met some new and interesting people. What I wanted to do was just to close off. I've I've got to leave promptly at 5.30 because I've got to go to a, 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 a meeting this evening. But um, I just wanted to make reference to the TED Talk that Daria touched on. Um, it's by a lady called Dana Kanze, K-A-N-Z-E. Um, and uh, the, the, there's a link to the talk in the chat uh, so you can get that. And if you've lost it for some reason, just reach out to us and we can send it to you. But she um, she's a fascinating lady. So she has a PhD from Columbia University and is now an assistant professor of organizational behavior at London Business School. And she looked at all of the uh, pitches that went through the tech crunch disrupt competition in New York City. Uh, since 2010. And she did a whole, her whole academic focus is on uh, gender bias. And she did an analysis of the different types of questions that were asked. And there are a number of studies that, 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 that go into this where she, she said there, there, there are two main types of questions. There are what are called promotion questions, which is, well, how are you going to make it bigger? Or how are you going to achieve your next, uh, you know, how are you going to double the business next? Or how are you going to enter this new market? Or what are you going to win here? And there are prevention questions, which are, well, so you've you've got your first 10,000 customers. How do you make sure you don't lose any? Um, or, um, you know, these things are going to be difficult. How are you going to manage? How are you going to manage to hire the, your, to your tech team and, and, and keep them on board and, and, and much more prevention focused? And she analyzed all of these questions in all of these pitches over a 10, 11 year period uh, through the tech branch to disrupt thing. And she found that 67% of the questions that men were asked were promotion type questions. And 66% of the questions that women were asked were prevention type questions. So it's, it's that continuation of that whole thing where for the men, it's okay, show us how great it's gonna be. And for the women, it's, well, how are you going to protect it and, and make sure we, we minimize the downside? She then found two other really, really interesting things. The first one that really intrigued me was that this questioning bias applied to both male and female venture capitalists. So the female venture capitalists were asking the female VCs still predominantly prevention questions rather than promotion questions. Um, and, and, and yeah, it, I, I suppose to some degree, it's, you know, the, the, the women that are in VC these days have to be pretty tough. Um, but uh, I, was, I was intrigued by that. But what really was fascinating is she said that when they drilled into the detail, regardless of whether you're asked a promotion or a prevention question, if you respond with a promotion theme, so it might be um, how are you going to protect your first, when, when you hit 5% market share, how are you going to protect that? Kind of do a politician's answer. And instead of answering that question, turn it around and spin it into what you will do, what you will achieve, what new markets you are going to enter, what your goals are, why your traction is showing that. And so turn that around and spin it as a, as a positive, as a promotion uh, answer to that preventive question. And in those cases that she identified and researched, the people who answered preventive questions with a promotion response were 14 times more likely to get funding. Which I thought was a pretty significant finding. And so I'm, I'm, I, I've now reached out to, um, to Dana. I've connected with her on LinkedIn and I'm trying to get an interview with her uh, before I finish my book because I've got a a whole section on bias and um, I'd love to, to, to get her input to that. So I'd, I just, I wanted to share that with you. Um, also to let you know, uh, upcoming, we are planning to run our third annual funding focus conference. Uh, the date is not yet fixed. And the reason for that is because we are hoping that we'll be able to run it live at the London Stock Exchange again. Uh, which is what we did for our first conference in 2019. The second one in 2020 was obviously online. Uh, we've run all of these shorter events online. And what we're looking to do is, is actually run a hybrid event. So there will be a live 
uh, event for an audience of up to just over 100 people at the London Stock Exchange, but we are also going to be uh, doing it online so that people from around the world can, can participate and be involved and ask questions. And we might even have speakers doing it remotely. We'll see um, and, and just see how that goes. But we're very excited about the idea of being able to be back at the London Stock Exchange um, and, uh, and, and take things forward at our, at our third conference. It's likely to be December, early December as a date. I don't want to get into the Christmas season, but the Stock Exchange have told us uh, because of the COP26 event that's happening in, in Glasgow in November, uh, they're tied up with a lot of things associated with that. Um, so as soon as we have dates, we will let you know uh, 100%. And just wanted to open up in case anybody had any final questions or comments or anything they'd like to add uh, from today. Um, yes, I would like to add something uh, just briefly, David. Um, yeah. Just nope. for anyone, yeah. just for Pamela, anyone. In the, next. Go ahead, Drew. Uh, just for anyone in the audience, um, if you don't follow our social media channels, please do. Just that funding focus on um, Instagram, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, and YouTube. Um, thank you. Thank you. Good point. Thanks very much. If you hadn't guessed, Drew is my marketing guy. <laughs> <laughs> Pamela, you had a question. No, it was a comment. Uh, Fair comment. Say thank you very much. I um, very much enjoyed uh, Daja's uh, story and I thought she presented it, you know, quite clearly uh, touching on her focus uh, points that she wanted to bring across. Yep. An impressive young woman. But I, I, I enjoyed meeting the fellow participants as well. I think the, the format really worked for me. So thank well, you. On, on that note, let, let me step in before Drew does and say, could you please post something on your social media, tag us in it, and just say that you had a great time at our event. That was fantastic. Yep. Wonderful. Uh, Jennifer, yes, it was great. Thank you very much. You're very welcome, Jennifer. Um, yeah, again, well, all of you. Yeah, if you could please just... Just put something on your social media saying that you you were at today's event. Can't wait for the next one. Uh, tag 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 funding focus. Tag me and uh, and we'll make sure that it gets shared. Okay, last chance for anyone to ask a question or make a comment. We are all done. Thank you everyone for coming today. Um, it's been a wonderful day and uh, we'll see you in the very new future. And to my team, I'll see you guys all tomorrow. We've got a, a team planning session at my house tomorrow. So lovely. All right. Thanks lovely. so much, everybody. Bye-bye.